Ludmilla, you all right? Yes, I'm going to get some water and go to bed. You know, I noticed something you do. I realized that when, uh, whenever you're upset, that beautiful smile of yours goes away. Well, right now I feel just like the, the Voyager 1. Like the what? It's a spacecraft that has journeyed out of our solar system. And so far, it's the only object built by man that has reached that distance. And right now, it's gone completely interstellar. It's in a place that's beautiful and totally unfamiliar. It has traveled more than 37 years, and no one thought it would survive this long. But it continues to send signals. Each new journey, it makes new, wonderful discoveries. It met its goal, and overcame it. And I don't think anyone would have guessed what it would achieve. But? Well, it it's far away. And it's in a place where not even a particle of sunlight can reach it. It's just irreparable and completely alone. Okay, but I think that that probe achieved things, including traveling much higher than was expected. Everything has a path. Right. Everyone has a goal they want to reach, and no one knows how it's going to end. And a different route may appear. One can take it or not. I mean, take me as an example. When I returned to Buenos Aires, oh, I hated music. I wanted nothing to do with it. And now look, Violetta's going to keep singing. I keep playing the piano. Huh? Well, the truth is that we all have somewhere to go. And we can each choose the path we take. We select our direction. Ludmilla, you have the right to change your path, okay? And if you're in a place as high as you say, there's no reason to feel alone. You can change that path. Or if you want, you can journey forward with others, huh? You're not alone. You're not. Come here. Uh, well, uh, I better, I better, uh... Bedtime. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Thank you.